Welcome to this Power Search tutorial focusing on indexing new items or re-indexing items with new metadata in Power Search. You can select if speech analysis, markers, or metadata are included in the indexing by checking or unchecking these boxes. So once you've indexed a project, all of your files and sequences will appear under indexed project items up here. If you add a new file to this project, it'll appear down here under unindexed project items. Anything in this section will not appear in search results since PowerSearch does not automatically index anything. You can index this new file by clicking the plus sign next to it. Once it's indexed, the metadata and transcripts will be searchable. If you add multiple new files to a project, you can index them all at once by clicking the index new items button up here. The important thing to remember about indexing new data is that changing the data in a file or a sequence won't send it back to the unindexed items list. For example, I'm going to add some metadata to this clip. I'm going to add a shot location. If I just add the metadata and then search for it, it won't show up. To make it show up, I want to re-index the clip that I added the metadata to by clicking the plus sign, and now when I search for it, it shows up in the results. This works the same way for editing a transcript. If you make an edit, re-index that clip or sequence if you want Power Search to find the new text. So here I'm gonna make an edit in transcriptive, and then search for it, it won't show up. I'm gonna go back and re-index that sequence, and now when I search for my new edit, it shows up in the search results. Remember, saving your Premiere project does not save Power Search. So if you re-index items individually, remember to save before you quit or before you close Power Search. Thanks for watching and check out a free trial of Power Search to see everything it can do. Thank you.